Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where the big stories and mini stories, I mean entertainment stories live. If it's awesome, we're going to talk about it. If it's big enough, we're going to talk about it. So if you don't see that we're talking about that thing, it just didn't cut the, the, you know, the standards, unfortunately. But um, yeah, we uh, basically analyze and dissect all the hot gist that's happening on the entertainment space and also all the updates on your favorite celebrities. And when I say we, I mean my co-anchor, if I lost your care, how's it going? It's popping. You right? I like the, I don't think I've ever seen you in a... Nah, I really don't. Nah, know yeah, no. I'm surprised that I can actually fit your big head. That's... That's My head is actually very interesting. small. Interesting, the head is big. Who's like that to you? Head, egg small now. Oh, that's okay. Very big They've been lying to you. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get coconut. Hey. Like, like, hey. Anyway, what inspired the look? <laughs> Young fella. <laughs> 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 what inspired the look? Um, I have an out in later and mm. the dress code was white and black. So, okay. yeah. Yeah, so I just figured, okay, I could wear white hat and just, yeah, you know, I like to keep my things different. So, you're supposed to wear like the white outfit and, sh and stuff, but I'm just going to wear the white hat. Yeah. I like that. I like that. It looks nice. Yeah, thank you. Alrighty, so are you ready for today's mm, yes, basketball? Yes, yes, always ready. I was born ready, you exactly. know. Exactly. You know how we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our first conversation is in the Nigerian space about the film industry. Nigerian film executive Moses Babatope has addressed reports of an alleged cabal in the Nollywood that controls the industry's activities. Babatope addressed the topic that has been a point of scrutiny among industry enthusiasts for a while now. In the Meet and Greek podcast interview with Ungbot's heads like Nas, Onuzo, Zulu, Moke, Oyibo, and Damola, Ade Damola. When queried about his thoughts on the remote cabal and if he was a member, Babatope Baba revealed that he did not subscribe to the idea that they are a cabal as they have, they have been preoccupied with sharing knowledge, growing the industry, elements that are not peculiar with cabals. And I quote, I don't identify with the cabal, but I must say that there is a group of progressive thinkers, risk takers, implementers that have shown a level of consistency. There is a group that exists and is almost easy to identify. The Film House and Film One co-founder for the highlighted distributions in Nollywood and how the progression group ideas may have positively grown the industry in a few years. Alrighty, mm. so... Um, oh. Yeah go, yeah, go on. I know when I saw Cabal, I'm like, ah, eh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause that word, I, I mean, listen, the Western scene, that's like these like top notch 1% of the 1%, 1%, 1 just yeah. like controlling the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And they're usually really like corrupt. You know, they're the ones that are literally above the law. Like when you think about the cabals, you think about people who own the law, own the system, you know. So like, to use that term is not something I want to do lightly, yeah. but I think I like the way he explained it. But let me hear your take. Uh, for me, I, I, I don't think they should be called cabals. Like you said, forward thinkers, you know, progressive thinkers, you know, those are people that are actually putting in the work. Now, a lot of people want to be part of an industry, but not a lot of people want to get their hands dirty. Mm. Do you understand? These are the guys that will go all out and they have the funding as okay, well. Okay, when you say get your hands dirty, do you mean that as in like hard work or like get your hands dirty? Because when you say get your no, hands dirty, it means hands. that do the things that are not necessarily very easy to do because now, they're I'm talking kind about of the hard work now. They're the ones that would probably go and try to have a sit down with um, a Tyler Perry to see how they can create a movie together. You get, but the other ones just want to be featured in the movie and all that. And they have the funds as well. That's another thing that makes them look like a cabal. Now, because they, they, put, they set their mind to something and they feel like, okay, we can get this done. And then they bring a group of other people that have the money and they get it done. You say, oh, they are the 1% of the 1%. Mm. But but of course, if you had the funding and if you're in that space, I think you'll be welcome. You'll be invited to the table as well. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. I think I think anyone who's in the cover would talk about it like that. I don't think anyone would say, "Oh yeah, we actually are like controlling the thing and we have monopol monopolized um, power over mm. the entire industry and all the negatives of it." I think even the cultist mm. groups that we have that are not so private, the way they explain it sounds really fantastic. So mm. um, I'm, I'm not going to just buy his words on the surface because he's supposed to say that if that's what it is if the accusation is what it is but um if they are if I, the only thing that stood out for me was that they're almost e easy to identify for him to add that part means that they're not cultists in the sense of privacy mm. or whatever maybe they mm. are just functioning quite um 
um, transparent in with mm. their actions, even if they have cabal tendencies it's in, in, in public. And for me, that made me feel a little more better because my mind was already going into like some kind of um, no. uh, controversy, mm -hmm. um, conspiracy theory, loophole kind of thing. But no matter what I can imagine, the fact that you want to work in transparency means that you don't really have that much to hide. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but I, I, again, I don't know the intricate details, and I'm pretty sure it's not as warm and fuzzy as he has said it is. I'm pretty sure there's other things. And thing. I don't think I agree that if you have money and you have a dream, then you can um, be part of that. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's is, any association that's that we open. See, we see, in as much as in this um, clique or in this generation, the people that I said they're quite obvious. You have the likes of Miriam Joku, you have the likes of Funka Kindele, you know, you have Sin One, Film mm. One, you know, all those people that actually Roku TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're actually there. But now, uh, one thing I know that Nollywood is open to is, you know, new players, new key players. Now we have Play Network. We have, what's his name now? For the life of me, I can't remember his name. But the guy that owns Play Network as well, that did the, uh, what's it um, called? Drive, cinema uh, Driving. Yeah, Cinema Driving and um, the... Um, Charles Okpaleke. Charles, Charles Okpaleke. So Charles Okpaleke came into the scene and he had the funding and he had the dream. He had the plans. He put them in motion and but it worked. Are you saying that Charles Okpaleke is part of this cabal? No, I'm saying that they're open to new people. Who's so we? Who's if, they? Sorry, who's they? The cabal the, or just the, the industry? The obvious key players that are referred to as the cabal. So are you saying that the key players in the industry that we know are the cabals? Yes, yeah, so that's why he's saying they're quite obvious. Now, you can count them on your fingertips. The major people, okay, if I want to put a movie in the cinema, there are like just three or four people that I have to see to get any movie in the cinema. Do you understand? Mm. It's not like uh, there are so many companies I can go to. We have just like four. So why wouldn't they call, call them the cabal? Mm. Do you get what I mean? So it's quite obvious that these are the key players in Nollywood industry. Do you understand? So that's why I'm buying into everything he's saying because it's just a fact. The fact that we have the money, the fact that we can put it in motion, it doesn't mean that if you do and you have the money and you want to do it, some people will block your way. They will try to, you know, put all those on, on your path. They're not going to do all of that. They're just, you know. That's what I think it is. I don't know. I, I think Charles Tukpaliki has been in the game for a long time. Yes, he has. So, but when he started doing um, Living in Bondi, the driving cinema, mm. you know, he, was, he didn't come out to tell you, oh, some people tried to stop me, some people tried yeah, to... Yeah, because he's not an oldie. And that, that does, uh, I mean, the point that you're trying to make, Paliki cannot, cannot buttress that point because he's already been in the game. I wish there was somebody else that we knew that's not in that circle, new, fresh, like... Fresh from the pot, we've never heard of his name before, mm. and has gotten to the top like that. Because I don't think that's the case at all. I think you have to go buddy well. with these people and get the approval. And if you don't, you can't be blocked. Um, and not everybody's going to take that to social media. Obviously, you are going to be blocked when you need their services. For instance, I want like I, the the example I gave. I want to take a movie to the cinema. Film one wants that movie. Same one wants that movie. Genesis wants that movie, right? And uh, I think it's one particular one. It doesn't work like it works really fine. Now, of course, they was try to start trampling on dates. You understand? Somebody else that probably wants that project will probably say, "Oh no, no, you can't premiere it on these dates. You have to do it like two months from now." Do you understand? So. They they will try to affect you, but it doesn't mean that you won't get it done. Hmm. So that's also what I'm saying. You, okay, you'll do you think Ebony done. Life is part of these people? What? Ebony Life. Ebony Life? No, 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 I don't think so. Why not? And when you say, uh, I don't, I, I would, okay, well, I wouldn't know. I'm not in that industry. I haven't had any reason, and no one has ever told me. I haven't heard stories about Ebony Life, so I wouldn't know. But I think she's a key player when it comes to Nollywood, when it comes exactly. to the, so the my, media Exactly, so my point is exactly well. that I don't think all key players in the industry are part of this circle of friends. Whoa, whoa, if you're talking about that, no, they don't have, the thing is, when I say key player, they don't have to be friends. They just have to share a common goal, which is business, which is money. Do you understand? You don't think like, they need to be friendly to do that? No, they don't need to be mm. friendly. It's business, man. You don't ha really have to be friendly when it comes to money. Uh, as long as, I'll see, we can I'll be enemies, but when it comes to business... Because I know even Mo, I've heard stories about Mo not accepting movies because she that person doesn't itch her well. You ha Maybe friendship. I'm not saying friends like as if no... The money um, doesn't eat well. No, no. That was, <laughs> that was not the case. This, this movie that I'm talking about was accepted everywhere else. It was a good movie. The quality was good. The people in, those, in that movie were, were not small people whatever mm. but 
If they don't see you, um, human beings don't function like that. We're not robots that we think strictly without any bias. If I don't like you, even if you fit the category, you can decide not to work with that person. So I don't think it's as simple as, or oh, if you have the money and we share the same common interest. Nah, I think that you have to have more commonalities than than that to, to want to even associate yourself and invest mm. in each other's businesses or whatever. But I think we'll all just speculate on this table because. Unfortunately, why one not in the cabal. Moving on. Popular award winning uh, disc jockey Kopi has reacted and made the intense troll and backlashes she seems to be getting from um, basically fans, or will I say fans now, trolls, as regards her songs and performances in the entertainment industry. Kopi, who has been a center of attraction for many critics lately, took to Twitter to affirm that the criticisms and trolls she gets cannot discourage her from chasing her dreams and aspiration because she's a fighter and quite resolute. In her words I, and I quote let me tell you a secret for every achievement and yes that you've seen in my career there's about nine no's my rejection rate is very high and but I'm now used to it this never bruises my ego nor stops my dreams because I'm a fighter and believe in destiny I really want you to understand this and learn from me stop waiting for things to happen make them happen you don't get you don't ask you don't get so if basically if you don't ask you don't get and that's on copy that um, <laughs> I like her spirit. I do. Mm. I do like her spirit. I think that in you know, all these like motivational things that I've been either forced to watch or stumbled upon, or even like these um, billionaires and like people in the society that have really made a lot of money or mm. have. I've, I have had strong impact on the world and stuff. The one thing I know that they all have in common isn't really a soft story or like a sports or whatever. It's that consistency that I've seen. Mm. Just consistently being at one thing is really cool to see. And I think it's just like a normal principle of life. Like even if you're bad at it, um, you still do well. A good example for me, I think the, the American version of um, DJ Copy is Tyler Perry. When Tyler Perry first started, till now, people still crap about his music, about his um, movies. They're low budget, which they are. The stories are very aligned, which they are. Um, he writes all his, he basically does everything and it shows that he's not delegated enough work. So a lot of things are not properly like, you know, uh, managed or whatever. But all of that story, my guy has still been going at it longer than I've been alive. And it's working for him. He has a whole society that he has built based on the fact that, so even if they, even if they don't connect with the talent or the artwork, they connect with the vision and the passion mm. and all of that. And I think that just makes sense as to why you can keep um, pushing. So in that, in that sense, I think it's a really good advice. I posted something on my story today, and it was from myself as well, where um, so I, I got it from somewhere where somebody said, a lot of you don't do things because you're afraid of looking stupid. And I think that, that that's a big thing, like um, perfectionist syndrome as well. I know it's, it's a cripple of mine. If I don't think that it's going to be 100% good mm. and like, you know, top notch, then I'm afraid to do it or whatever. Mm. But, you know, at, at some point, in a way, it helps. But most of the time, it's just a crippling effect. Like, go mm. for it. Do what you need to do. Be fearless about your, your, your work and your dreams and your passions. And even if I might not be a fan of DJ Copy, I'm sure her consistency and all of that can build a fan base that can take her to where she wants to go to. For me, I just totally think, um, you know, our story is one that is a lot of um, rejections, obviously, a lot of trolls, a lot of people saying whatever they feel about her career. Forget the fact that she's a billionaire's daughter. She still has her own fair share of the internet drama, right? And um, the way she handles it, you know, like you said, consistency is key. So over the weekend, I saw a post where she was talking about, um, you know, Chelsea football club oh, okay, 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 losing okay. the match, and she said, "Oh, this is painful to watch." And then someone replied, "Now you can feel. Now you can imagine the pain we feel when we have to watch your music." Yeah. And then she just dropped an emoji that was like, "Ooh!" Like did you just say, did you get like. Mm. That spirit that keeps you going, she didn't come back and say, it is your this, 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 that is this, this. Do you understand? She didn't come back to this, the person. She just played along. And I think um, that's a very good spirit. That's yeah. a good way to actually look at things. And then I can remember um, I, the day we were having a 
conversation with Quincy and we're seeing a video, a video with Stoneboy Karma, and he was saying, oh, that's a very good song, yeah. like she was actually that soon, I did yeah, copy down the learn how to sing, mm. and you can tell that she's actually putting in the effort, she's actually putting in the work, she's trying to be better, mm. she's not somebody that is just saying, oh, because my dad has money, I have money to fund all of these things, I don't care, I'm putting out, she's actually putting, she's, her features, she's very strategic, she's getting better, her kind of shows, whatever she's doing, she's always making sure it's top notch, now that's not somebody that is just doing it for the sake of I want to do it. She's doing mm. it because she actually has the passion and she's so she does I have think, the passion. I think a story is actually one that we all can learn from, yeah. no matter how good you are. And I think Copy is going to surprise us. I think that the, 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 the only thing that she has done that's very different from others is that she has learned on a large scale. Mm. All of us sucked. I remember, like, even till now, I still get comments about, oh, you know, your show, your this, your comment, the way you analyze the story. But it wasn't always like that. I think the first times in uni, because I did journalism in school as well, people used to get tell me to boo, boo me off the mic that this is so bad. And I, that's, we're airing at my university. My university was quite big. You know, like, you know, get off. You're too slow or we don't understand or this or your accent or blah, blah, blah. Because I was not in... The, the, we didn't, I didn't sound like the people that were listening to me. So there's a lot of criticisms and stuff. So the only difference, the only reason I'm not being dragged into the scale as copy is because I'm not copy. I'm not a popular actress. Mm. I mean, a popular personality. So it's because she's learning on a large scale. But everybody has been through that. There's nothing that she's doing that's mm. so extraordinarily different. You mm. all start like a JJC making all these obvious mm. errors, your makeup is not good, or like, what was the other thing about her performance? She wore all, uh, ugly shoes. Like, you can't make that kind of mistake again, but you have to make that mistake at some point. So, sure. um, I'm waiting for her to get better, to be honest. I'm I not going she to... Ha she's actually getting better. She is, and but I, there's I still a lot, a lot more space for improvement. And I think even her knows... Well, she's not singing gelato anymore, at least. Yeah, yeah, no, but she can do better. She can be bad, I, I think. I think she can be I think a lot hardcore. Was really good. Good. You don't ABS. think there's any space to grow, Ife? Is that what oh, you're saying? There's always uh -uh. space yes, to now. grow. I'm just saying She's going to compete with a lot of people still. And I think for someone like her and the vision that she, she wants... She's compete with a lot of female artists in Nigeria right now with that album. Top female Nigerian artists. Name four. The top, we don't have that many. Maybe there are only four. Yeah, can, so can, an album, one of them. can an album um, compete with Tiwa Savage? To what Tiwa Savage's album? I could finish Tiwa and listen to copy, yes. That's not the, que that's not the question I asked. Compete? Yes. Like if I have to, like you put them, them to like a record, a, 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 a an industry. Um... No, Tiwa has a sound that's totally different. But is the album good? Yes, I don't want to do the whole competition thing. I just want to put it on. Well, uh, that's a good well, that's, album. That's the and question. If I have to that's do that's, that's album... the question I'm asking because if well, you say I don't have if, an answer to if that you want question. to give a compliment about somebody, you can. I can. I, I think that my work is good. But can I compete with every other person in this industry? I think no. I think there's some there's some people that I'll have to go back, learn, build my, my, my skill even more, and then compete with those people because they've been mm. in the industry longer, they're better at the job. And then there's some people that cannot sit next to me because I know what I'm doing. So is there space for copy to absolutely no grow and no flourish? I'm just because saying that we need to give room to actually even see our flourish. Everybody's basking in the past of... Um, What's it called? Gelato and all the, all the terrible songs. Have you actually paid attention to a new album? We just album? agreed on her new song with um, Stoneboy. That's good. Mm. It's good. I'm nobody, I'm, well, I don't no. know if you're talking about me now. No, or, like, I'm not the talking. People. I'm talking about generally. Like people are not giving us space to breathe, and they think the she's the live performance that she gave was more recent than the than Stoneboy's album. That was terrible. If it. <sighs> terrible. <laughs> the sounding was bad. If, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened there. I, don't, I really don't know. The I makeup was, was off. I the think, camera lighting was I really bad. I think that bad. was um, physical and technical issues. Exactly. So, yes. yeah, is, that, is there no space for improvement but with her live performances? Absolutely. We're not talking about live performances. We're now. talking I'm, about her being an artist. The whole shebang. What I, well, you know what? All I'm saying is a lot of people need to give more room to copies growth. You know, you need to actually see what she has achieved along the line in the years. Is there space for improvement? Absolutely. But are we even looking at our current improvements? No, people well, I, I are think not. People are. I think people are. What? She's still just not there yet. I think so. Mm. If she gave a, if she gave if she gave a song that's nice, people are gonna say that the song is nice. If she gave a live performance that was bad, Tell me people when are gonna you've say ever seen a song that somebody who ever said this song by copies no, nice. go on go on in, go on the internet you see the thing is apart from someone who's a fan like a random person just says oh have you guys listened to copy <laughs> song 
I don't know where you're going with this, but I think people have given her compliments. If you mm. really think that the whole internet is against copy, that's a lie. Even her knows. Of course she has she knows. Fans. She knows people that appreciate her, that have seen her progress. But you can't. I, I don't want us to now get carried away with motivational talk and then lie at that the fact that she's now where she has arrived because she hasn't. Nobody's saying she's arrived. I'm just saying you still need. Okay. We can support her. We'll give her space. Thank you.